something always goes wrong. Every time I try and film a video, something goes wrong with it. I can move it and all of a sudden it switches off or whatever, but I'll give it one more try. So I'm here at Coco's Wild Camp, which is a relatively new campsite. Oh, I've never been before. And it's not far from Knighton. My, uh, my mum was born Knighton Way. She grew up there. I've uh, been there a lot as a kid. At, um, yeah, uh, so I thought I'd come and give this place a try. Uh, the sat nav actually took me to Knighton today, which was nice. I stopped there and um, had a look around at some of the places where I used to go as a kid with my family. And then I come up here. I'm not sure if I've done the right thing because I've come off the track and you can see slightly wet down there, really squelchy underfoot, but uh, uh, hopefully it's not going to rain anymore now. So it should start to dry out a bit and I'm hoping I can get out tomorrow because I want to go and explore um, Clandidnod Wells tomorrow. Uh, and possibly even Raider. Raider Dam. But it's beautiful here, absolutely beautiful. Um, don't really need the fire but it's always nice to have one isn't it? And obviously I'll have it later when, uh, when it starts to get dark, it'll be quite pleasant. There's a bit of a breeze blowing across and I'm sitting here uh, amazed that I've actually got a phone signal, which is fantastic. Um, I was going to stick around Leamington this weekend and uh, do some sorting out of my garage and stuff. There's loads of stuff needs to be sorted out, but I just thought, you know what, it's, it's too nice. Let's go away somewhere while we still can before the really wintry weather comes. I know it's still August, but... Uh, I'm regretting um, changing my sheet yesterday, so I've got this nice shiny uh, white sheet and uh, it's, a cool cover. it's not going to stay that way very long. So I'm sitting at the moment on my waterproof poncho to avoid getting the bed all messy. Um, I'm covered in mud already. Uh, I'm going to have to go and stoke that fire up in a minute and I've got to cook myself some dinner. In that cool box I've got some buffalo mints. And a couple of nice sausages. So I'm going to have burgers and sausage tonight. And then they'll keep and I can have them in the morning as well. What's left over. Uh, so that'd be nice. I almost bought a barbecue tray thing. You know those ones you get really cheap. But then I didn't. So that was no good was it. Yeah and uh, some point this weekend I think. I ought to tidy up a bit because it's a right old mess. See that reflective vest? I found that in the lay-by today. And I thought well a bit wet. You never know when I might need a reflective vest. What if I break down on motorway or something? So there you are. That's my reflective vest. Um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to having some quiet time. It's just me here. I mean, it's going to be loads more people apparently coming down over the weekend. But it's just, I'm just on my own. And I'm quite happy with that, really. Because uh, I just need some quiet time in nature. And time to think and reflect and pray and just uh, relax it's going to be busy next week hopefully uh, September starts and uh, hopefully there'll be more going on at work more things going on that I can uh, involve people in uh, get things going again properly as August is always a bit of a quiet month um, yeah so the only problem I've got at the moment is a every time I go out there I traipse mud in here and b everything's slightly sloping that way so if I'm not careful it all falls out and see I didn't fill all my water bottles up so I've got a couple for now but I don't know if there's a water point here I know there's a toilet over the road way there I might go and wander up later and see if there's any water if there's a toilet there ought to be some water wouldn't there but um, this is essentially just a great big field so I don't know. But if not, I can always um, find a place to fill the water, fill it with water tomorrow, I'm sure, in uh, Clandidnod Wells. Mm. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Um, that's if I can get off the field. Well, I am assured <laughs> that I wanted to come down the field a bit because there's lots of people coming tomorrow and possibly even tonight. And so I wanted to make sure I'd got a view and I wasn't just staring at somebody else's van or tent. But also, I wanted to, um, yeah, there is a danger that I might not be able to get off again. But I'm assured that uh, there's tractors. The farmer 
the, the neighbouring farmer was very helpful when I came and I think they'll be able to pull me off. Somebody will pull me off if I if I need to in the morning. Yeah, I mean, I could just stay here. It's so beautiful and I've got everything I need. But uh, yeah, I'd also like to go and have a look at planting non-wells while I can. And I've got to work Sunday, so I uh, might as well do it tomorrow. But uh, you can't see it there unless I zoom in. The, the wind blowing in that in that long grass there by the pond. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see it waving around like that. Absolutely beautiful. And the farmer's just shooed all the sheep off somewhere up there. So they've all gone. Yeah. So I don't know how busy it's going to get here, but uh, it's a beautiful place. Highly recommend it. Coco's Wild Camp, and it's got its own Facebook group. So COCO, uh, -C -O, uh, if you look it up, um, worth... Uh, and it, and I mean, it's not every campsite lets you have a campfire these days, so uh, I think that's... Because uh, I, I passed, I don't know how many laybys, especially in the last um, few minutes, coming out of night and to here. I passed several laybys, and the, there was a bee road, so it wasn't that busy, and I thought, well, I could just stay in one of them laybys for nothing, couldn't I? But then I wouldn't have the uh, option of the lovely fire and uh, the toilet here, even though I've got my own. Yeah, so anyway... I'll, uh, I'll sign off now and maybe I'll do some uh, talking tomorrow in uh, Candid Nod. Goodbye.